Many folks want to learn how to run large language models completely locally, be it your computer, laptop, desktop, or a server. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Langflow together with Olama and run large language models completely locally. So we can get started by visiting olama.com. And here I'm going to download Olama based on my OS. Once the tool is installed, we can see that running in our computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how to run Llama 3 modeling here. So I'm going to go to Llama 3 page. There are a few different options. If you go down, it says Llama run Llama 3. This is the command to download the LLM weights and have that running on our device. If we were to go for some different options for the Llama 3, we could go for 70B version, or there are some other options available as well that you can look in the list of tags for this particular model. For simplicity, we're going to start with Llama run Llama 3. This is something I ran on my computer. And once we do that, if we were to check with Olama list, we'll see that that model is available. And now once Olama is installed and running with a model, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Langflow and this is the local instance of Langflow. In here, I'm going to start a new project and I'll start with the basic prompting template. And let's remove the OpenAI block. I'm going to click and delete it. And what I'll do is I'll add a model in here which is Olama. And once we drop this, we can connect the input to the prompt message and the text to the text here. And then we'll notice that since the model is running in our case, it pulls the default port and it pulls the locally available models in here. So in our case, this is Llama 3. So I'm going to click that. And once we do that, that's pretty much it. We have the prompt template, chat input, everything set. So what I'm going to do is I'll just provide some input here as high and let's start. So once we start, we'll see that it will call the Olama model and then it will provide us some response back. There we go. So we have a check mark and there is some response back from the AI and this response is in the pirate language as we asked in the prompt template. Great. And again, if we want, we can go in the playground and ask more questions. How are you? It's going to run the model and then it will generate responses completely locally. Now, of course, if one were to go back and start a project with a RAG based template, in here we can remove anything that is OpenAI and then use completely local instance of uh, all of these nodes. So we can use the model as Olama, we can use the vector store something which is local so we can use chroma db in this case and also for the embeddings we can look for embeddings those are available through olama and then use that since we have the embeddings running what i can do is i can select the embedding model that i have available in in my instance and we have right now the nomic embed text available which we can use that as a model name here and with these changes you can run a completely local rag app in langflow